Hi there, welcome to Expo Hub. Today we are into exercise number 13 and I'm hoping that you have completed all the previous exercises. Through these exercises, I wanted to build your fundamentals. I want to build your basic concepts. Okay, that's why I'm building exercises which I feel can improve your knowledge about UI path. So one of the uh, questions that I have brought it here, string.format. Okay, so look at the expression string dot format. His name is zero whose rank is I have written the in curly braces. I have written one and in this curly braces I have written zero and then I'm giving a comma and writing John comma one. Okay, first of all, is this expression is correct or wrong? Tell me if it is correct. What would be the output of this expression? right so are you aware of the string dot format and how this one functions is a question so looking at this many of you must have got the answer which is really good and we are going to experiment little more about this okay we are going to add few more uh, in curly braces few more uh, data and would like to experiment this and i want all of you to experiment i want you to pause this and practice uh, do a practical on your ui path and see what kind of output is coming Okay, that is all I want to get from you. You have to do practicals. You have to exercise, um, right? That's where it will help you to build your knowledge. Okay, so if you are able to do it, uh, please mark it yes. Please comment yes, uh, so that I also know that many people are progressing one by one, and I know where they are. So please mark yes after completing each exercise. And anyone who is very new to our channel, please do subscribe for more such contents. Many people are getting benefited and I am hope please do connect with our channel and get get subscribed and get help from the contents that we build. With this let's get started. Okay so first thing let me take a message box. Okay we will write simply and try to understand what is the meaning of it. Okay so here let me start writing. So what is the expression first thing is you have to write string dot format so you want to put a string in a specific format so string dot format okay after writing this double quote okay and i'm simply saying in double quote inside the double quote inside the moon bracket in double quote i'm saying his name is and i'm using a curly braces and i'm saying zero Okay, first of all, understand what this do and I put a comma and here I'm giving a name. Let's say I'm writing John. So what would happen? The zero is kind of an input where this input will be taken from this one after the comma, whatever you are writing that becomes an input for this. So let me first run it and show you what kind of output is coming. Then we will start improvising this expression. Okay, so let's see the output. So the output has come, his name is John, but nowhere in the expression I have written directly. So I'm writing his name is zero. So this is a different way. So you have to know, okay, you have to know many times you will find such expressions and you should know what is the meaning of it. Okay, that is the whole objective. Now let's little bit let experiment it. Okay, after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to improvise this little bit and I'm going to say after, see, look at this. After the comma, this is a second segment. So your first segment is your sentence. Okay. So in the first segment, I'm going to improvise this. I'm going to say whose rank is. Okay. I'm saying whose rank is. And in the curly braces, I am saying mentioning one. Now, if I mention one, I have to provide another input because it is looking for two inputs. So first input is coming from the first whatever you are writing that will go as a first input and after this I will put a comma and provide the second input. Let's say I am going to give his rank as 100 let's say. Okay, I am giving his rank as 100. If I click on OK, the output would say his name is John whose rank is 100. Right, that is the output it should bring it. Okay, now you can see it has printed his name is John whose rank is 100. What if I add few more numbers? Let's say he is from India or he is from US. If I wanted to write something like this. Okay, so then let's improvise this expression a little more. So I will say 
again this is your first segment okay where your message is there so in this i am going to add and he is from and in the curly braces i am writing two remember your number zero one two it has to go in the continuous way if you write three four five it will throw error it has to be in the continuous way zero one two similar way your input should be in the same order so first one should go john second one go hundred you can use a variable also it's not like you have to provide direct input here you can use a variable so that is the benefit you can use a variable so here i am writing the variable uh, not, not variable i am simply writing a value so this will be very very useful when you make it dynamic using a variable you are passing the data so anytime in our future exercises if i am using this kind of a expression so you have clear idea how it works okay so i'm writing india now let's run it okay now i can see his name is john whose rank is 100 because i have written 100 as the input there and he is from india do you see so the, during a dynamic environment where you have to write the data in a dynamic way so this expression becomes very very useful okay i hope this expression adds a bit to your knowledge okay if you have already uh, if you didn't knew this probably this is going to add a bit to your knowledge bank okay similar way we are going to come up with even advanced exercises these are very basic ones from the starting i want to have lot of basics to be very very clear so in, in a bigger or in the advanced exercises when we are doing i don't have to explain it you know when i write it you understand what is the meaning of it and you pretty well you will be able to do the advanced exercises okay so please do continue with us please do subscribe to our channel please do like please do comment yes once you have completed this thank you guys you guys have a wonderful day we'll meet again in the next exercise bye bye